In this set of videos, we're going to be talking about parameterizing a curve C. And what does this mean, how to do it, everything we know about parameterizing a curve C. First step, what do we mean by curve? We mean, and these are our keywords, a simple, if not completely smooth, at least piecewise smooth, and we will decide whether it's open or closed. What do we mean by simple? It doesn't cross itself. So what does this mean in one dimension? It means that we start at one point and we end at another point and we have gone from the first point to the second point. We don't necessarily have to go from left to right, but we can't go, come back, and go again. It has to go from one point to the other point without coming back on itself. In 2D, where we're most familiar with working, it would mean that we have a curve. It can turn around like that, that's okay, but it cannot turn around and cross itself. This is not okay. This is not a simple curve. How about in 3D? Here is a curve and here's our X and our Y and our Z axes. It might look like it's crossing itself, but of course it is not. It is the helix and it is not crossing itself in 3D. So this is a good simple curve in 3D. What else do we need? We need smooth. That means it has to have derivatives at every point. Well, we don't actually have to have it totally smooth, but we need it to be piecewise smooth. So it has to be made up of a finite number of connected smooth curves. So what's the function we are always talking about that has problems with derivatives? The absolute value function. So it comes down like this and then goes up like this. And at this point right here at zero, zero, there's no derivative, right? Right there. But that's okay here. So we're gonna write okay because it's made up of a finite number of connected smooth curves. We're gonna consider this one of our curves and this considered another of our curves. This one's smooth, it has a derivative at every point. This one is smooth, it has a derivative at every point and they're connected. And we could also even add another one if we want to. The minute we break it off, there's no derivative here, but this piece is smooth too, so it's okay. We need it to be simple and piecewise smooth. And we're gonna talk about open or closed. What do we mean by open? That means it has distinct endpoints. So if we're looking at 2D, this curve here has distinct endpoints. Also, this curve here has distinct. This curve here has distinct endpoints. If it's closed, the endpoints coincide, but you're not allowed to have any other double points. So a circle is a closed curve, the endpoints coincide, but we have to make sure that we only go around it exactly once in order that it is a closed simple curve. 